Graham, a little bit's been made of needing that first win and, and you know getting those first three points. So being three up after half an hour just uh, allayed any of those fears. Not for me, it didn't. No. <laughs> what was the 66 minutes left at that point with the with the extra time? And it's just uh, you know Barnsley, you got against Barnsley, getting to go back because they can get the momentum uh, momentum with the crowd here and. Uh, football is never that straightforward. I'm sure they'll have seen on the TV, 3 0 up, oh, that's it, done and dusted. It doesn't work like that. We had to do some, uh, we had to play, we had to show a dogged side of us, we had to defend as a group. Um, I think we've played in a different way today than what we've been playing in the first four games of the season. And uh, I was really, really pleased with it. It does help, though, being 3 0 up, obviously, and it just gave you that basis to then, uh, the second half maybe wasn't particularly pretty but you got the job done yeah and I think the, you, I said to the boys after the Sheffield Wednesday game uh, um, we did a we did a debrief for the game uh, post match went through everything we, I knew we were really really close but there comes a point where you have to win a game of football no matter who you are and the psychological barrier was getting broken down game by game and week by week we, we got done 60 minutes at Cardiff and then it was as minimum as 6 minutes against West Brom and then uh, on, on Tuesday night against Sheffield Wednesday, it was one action. And I knew we were getting close, and, but, but the players still have to um, put that into practice and actions speak louder than words. And I said, there's a point where you just have to win a football match and that's where we, that's where we are and that's what we did. And I think we'll take a lot psychologically from it. Some good goals as well. Take a butterfield opening in his account and then two players that have, have done what they did today and I had a shirt many times before. Yeah, I think it was James bundled one in, didn't he? And, yeah. and Harry Cornick. Um, I, again, Paul, it was one of them days I, I didn't care who scored, didn't care how how it was scored. Um, I just really did a win the game. And that, that's, a, that's a mentality we're talking about. We worked, we worked on Thursday and Friday in the final third about hurting teams, about being a bit more threatening, a bit more penetrating a bit more um, positive, a bit more purpose to us, don't hope to score, make sure you score, there's a different mentality and I couldn't be happier with where we are today. Uh, is it joy, relief? What's the kind of overriding emotion is it? Uh, whew, reward I think, uh, for nine weeks uh, the boys have been magnificent, every single one of them and I mean magnificent, these characters are outstanding. And Obviously, you feel for them at times when they're giving everything they've got, like they did at Sheffield Wednesday against West Brom, Cardiff, and you're getting, you get negative things happen to you. So I think the uh, the reward for the lads is a is a great feeling. If I could just ask you a couple of quick questions about Cardiff as well. Obviously, you move on. Uh, chances are you'll be making some changes. Simon Sluga today. Um, Having picked up a bit of a knock, it, he probably wouldn't have played anyway, but it's a good opportunity for players like that to, to just take a, a break. Same 11. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. I, I need to assess the group, mm. see where we are. We want to be competitive in every game. It's not. We're not going to Cardiff to make it easy for Cardiff. Uh, we haven't come this far to, to slacken off. I don't care what the competition is. So I want to be competitive. That's the first thing. And then how we're competitive, I don't know yet. I'll have to see how people are with bumps and bruises but looking forward to the game it was only two weeks ago I think today we went there so we'll see if we've up. well you said when the draw was made one or two I think one or two probably Linton fans thought that you know we're going there again but you seem quite upbeat about it and maybe a barometer in two and a half weeks not a long time but to see where you where you are yeah but I think we have grown every game but mm. obviously the proof's in the pudding and uh, we'll find out on Tuesday just I know these boys will give everything they've got and I know they'll uh, They'll, they'll go into the games mentally and physically prepared, tactically prepared, and we'll see where that takes us. Thank you. Thanks, Paul. Great Great so, so it looked like in the first half there was more of a desire to get the ball out quickly to say Kazenga and Kornik on the, on, on the flanks, like yeah. a bit more direct. Yeah. I mean, that seemed to prove dividends because Kazenga was fantastic all day until he got taken off. Yeah, and that was the plan, James. I think the learning curve for the boys has been. Uh, to teach them how to play in different ways. You know, you 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 go under some of the physicality we're faced against um, in the championship. And maybe it's been a little bit difficult to go toe for toe with them. Um, and today I felt we could hurt them, and we just changed the game a little bit. 
I like the fact we've got different styles in our system because we're going to need it. The championship challenges you that way. So, uh, really satisfying. Another kind of game of two halves, though. They put you under real pressure in, in the uh, second half and slightly bit of a soft goal to concede. It's sounds a little bit very annoying because it's probably deserved a clean sheet. Yeah, I think the two centre halves and the goalkeeper um, deserved a clean sheet, really do. But James Bree goes down injured. So Ryan Tunney clips in the left back position when the cross gets pulled back instead of being in the cutback zone and we get done. So um, that's what it looked like live. I'm sure when you look back there'll be a bit more detail in it, maybe stopping the cross or, or, or what have you. But I, I don't think James today is a day to be picky over anything. I think we need to enjoy the, um, the win, enjoy the performance because we were ruthless at times today. And I mean ruthless. If we'd have been 5 nil up at half time, nobody could have complained. And the two different faces we've war this season in, in terms of our performance has been really satisfying how far we've come in such a, a, a quick, uh, short space of time. When you go two nights early on as well, is it just to keep calm on the sidelines to tell the players that it's, it's, it's nowhere near done yet? Yeah, Mike, there's, I'm there thinking, Phew, there's a long way to go here. One goal, all of a sudden, 2-1, and there's, there's an avalanche here, there's a momentum, and you have to manage the... Uh, uh, you have to manage that momentum. So I think within the game, we managed the game really, really well. Again, learning lessons from previous weeks where we didn't manage the game so well. And um, I've said it before on here, Fu makes the same mistake twice and we didn't. We were much better in terms of management of the game. Not as pretty, but much better. Yeah, there's a lot less possession stats as well, unlike recent weeks, but yeah. a lot more attempts on goal. So yeah. is that, is that to you, did you try and play maybe a bit less the ball in, more in their yeah, because if you do your work, you analyse every opponent, and sometimes you come up with the right formula, and sometimes you don't. Um, I just thought today we, we needed to make it a, a little bit more direct, a little bit more penetration from us. It also it coincided with a mentality as well. That was the last little bit we needed, and um, as I've said, my really really pleased with the different styles. Obviously, good involvement in the right back. I mean, second half, they, they may have targeted him a little bit to get some joy down that, but he, he does it, didn't he? And um, only got the one goal from that, that side, didn't they? Yeah, and he showed character again. I mean, the medical boys are telling me no more than 65 minutes, and he's played 96 or 98, whatever it was. So it's testament to him. And like, I like a, I like a Pally Ruddock, ready to come on and contribute. Brendan Galloway's been struggling with his knees now for 10 days, comes on for three minutes. That's a contribution. Everybody has to be ready for the good, the good of Luton Town Football Club. Not any individual, for the good of Luton Town Football Club, myself included. And that's what I like about this group of players. Just to add on the moment, I mean, obviously, you've made some fantastic saves second half when they, they were on top a little bit. I mean, had, had you can see, it might be a different game, but he, he really proved the difference in that half, especially. Yeah, absolutely, Mike. And you need your goalkeeper at times. Eh? And I think their goalkeeper made a great save from. James Collins with his foot, it could have been, I think it was, would, have, would have been three at that time. But I, I, uh, I've not doubted Simon, but the settling in period for any foreigner is really, really difficult. And I think within the games, he's grew, he's getting an understanding of the game, he's getting an understanding of his starting position, he's getting an understanding of reading the tempo of the game for his team. I mean, the championship physically is a brutal league, you have to, you have to really understand it and learn quick. But he has the equipment in every area, and I think today he showed that. And it just wants to feel like yourself and in the dressing room afterwards to, to have that first year and have to work it so hard to, to actually get it these last few weeks. Yeah, it's nine weeks of work, and we've not, we've not, uh, we've not, we've not stopped once. The boys have been in every Sunday, and we've worked tactically. We've tried to improve, and we've had debriefs. You know, I've said to you that the, the largest part of my work is reviewing games. It takes a long, long time. But the progress we've had with it, when you can't train as much, when you're playing three games a week, by the time this time exactly comes, we've played seven games in 21 days, and it's, it's demanding. The tempo's gone up, the physicality's gone up with the league. So, just really pleased, Mike, where we sit today. But we can't stand still, we have to push forward. It's a nice moment for the fans, wasn't it, to, have that, to celebrate that first week too? But the fans have been, look, Mike, I hear so many managers talk about fans. These fans have been different. They've been different because they've got an understanding of what's needed because of the rich history the club's got but also where the club was not so long ago. They haven't forgot where they've come from 
they haven't forget how, forgot how precarious it is. And they do what fans should do is support the team. And you need to support your team in difficult moments and have them. And the fans got rewarded today as well.